Hi, the topic of this video lesson is using derivative to study functions. The first property of the function that we study with the help of the derivative is monotony. Let's have a given function y equal to f from x. The function y will be increasing if the value of its derivative, i.e. f dash of x, is greater than or equal to 0. Moreover, equality to 0 can be achieved only at individual points, and not on the interval. Let's demonstrate this with an example. We know that the function y is equal to x cubed is increasing. Her graph roughly looks like this. Now let's find its derivative. y dash will be 3x squared. Since this is 3x squared, we can say that this is greater than or equal to 0. The derivative is greater than or equal to 0. The function increases accordingly. Similarly, the function will decrease if the value of the derivative is less than or equal to 0. And again, equality to 0 can only be achieved at individual points, not on the interval. For example, the line y is equal to minus x plus 1. Its graph looks like this. It decreases. And its derivative is minus 1, and it is always less than or equal to 0. Let's consider an example. Let's have a function y is equal to x squared plus 2x. It is required to examine this function for monotony. We know that this is a parabola, and the parabola will have the branches directed upwards. It decreases to the top, and starting from the top to infinity, it increases. Let's do it with the derivative. First, let's find its derivative. The derivative will be 2x plus 2. Let's equate this derivative to 0. Find the point, get x equal to minus 1. Let's mark this point on the number line minus 1, got two gaps. Now let's define the signs of the derivative on these intervals. On the right we have a plus, because if x is greater than minus 1, then this expression is positive. Next, respectively, minus. Since we have said the derivative is negative, the function is decreasing. Where the derivative is positive, the function increases. Therefore, we can say that the function y increases if x belongs from minus 1 to plus infinity. Therefore, y decreases if x belongs from minus infinity to minus 1. Please note that I include minus 1 both there and there. The next use of the derivative is finding the extremum points. Extremums are points of maximum and minimum. Let's have a given function y equal to f from x. And let's have some graph for it, which I will schematically draw as follows. y is equal to f from x. The maximum and minimum points in our case are these points. This is the maximum point. This is the minimum point. If you try to draw a tangent line at these points, then these lines will be parallel to the x-axis. Then we can find these points with the help of the derivative. Namely, if we have a maximum or minimum at some point, then the derivative at this point is equal to zero. Let's consider an example. Let's suppose we have a function y equal to 3x squared minus 5x, and it is required to find the extremum points. To do this, we find the derivative and equate it to zero. The derivative will be 6x minus 5 is equal to 0. We can find x from here. x will be equal to 5, 6. So I can reach an extremum at the point 5, 6. But this is not necessary. We can really make sure, since the graph of this function is some parabola. And an extremum is indeed reached at its top. It is a minimum point. So this point will be 5 6. However, if the derivative at some point is equal to 0, then this point is not necessarily an extremum point. Let's take a look at an example. y is equal to x cubed. Let's find its derivative. It will be 3x squared. Let's equate it to 0 and find the point x equal to 0. Point x is possible extremum. But we know that the graph of the function x cubed is such a curve. And we know that at the 0 point, we have neither a maximum nor a minimum. So if the derivative is equal to zero, then the function doesn't need to have an extremum at this point. 
How then can we determine the extremum? Let's take a look at this example and let's try to find the extremum points of this function. We need to find the derivative to do this. Y dash will be equal to x cubed is the derivative of x to the fourth power. Fourth will be reduced and there will be x cubed minus there will be 2x squared plus x. The derivative of 7 is 0. Now we convert this expression. We get x, x squared remains in brackets, minus 2x plus 1. And if we put it together as a formula, then it will be x times x minus 1 squared. Equate the derivative to 0, get x equal to 0, x equal to 1. Let's mark these points on the coordinate line. Point 0, point 1. And let's, as in the case of monotonicity, determine the signs of our derivative on these intervals. On the right, we will have a plus. Further, since we have 1 minus 1 stands in front of the square, so there will be also a plus here. There will be a minus now, with the minus function decreases, with the plus function increases. Now pay attention to the points 0 and 1. These are the points where the derivative is equal to 0. By the way, those points at which the derivative is equal to 0 are called stationary. And those points at which the derivative doesn't exist, but the function exists, are called critical. Let's get back to our stationary points. Let's take a look at point 0. My function decreases up to the point 0, and it decreases starting from the point 0. That is, near the 0 point, the graph looks something like this. Then the 0 point will be the minimum point. What about point 1? At point 1, my derivative is also equal to 0, but the function increases before it, and it increases after it. This function will look like this near the point 1. Then here we have neither a maximum nor a minimum. That is, point 1 will not be an extremum point. Then this function has only one extremum point, x minimum, is equal to 0. We can find the corresponding value for the minimum by substituting value 0 to this function. Let's consider one more example. Let's suppose we have a function y is equal to x to the 4th power plus 16, divided by x squared. Let's find extremum points and intervals of increase. First, we need to find the derivative. We use the rule of the derivative of a fraction. There will be the square below, i.e. x squared and squared again. The derivative on the top is 4x cubed times the bottom, x squared, minus the top x in 4th power plus 16 times the derivative in the bottom, that is 2x. Now let's convert this expression. Here we'll get 4x to the 5th power minus 2x to the 5th power. So we get 2x to the 5th power minus 32x divided by x to the 4th power. Let's factor out 2x x to the 4th power remains minus 16 divided by x to the 4th power. x can be reduced, we get 2, and we can decompose x in 4th power minus 16 by the difference of squares. First expression will be x squared minus 4, which we also decompose by the difference of squares. That would be x minus 2, x plus 2, times x squared plus 4, divided by x cubed. Equate this to 0. Find points where the derivative is 0, and find points where the derivative doesn't exist. And we mark these points on the number line, namely at the point x is equal to 2. The derivative is 0 at the point minus 2. The derivative doesn't exist at the 0 point, so I highlight it too. I've got these intervals and I need to determine the signs of derivative on these intervals. On the right we will have a plus. Since we have all the roots of odd multiplicity, then signs will simply alternate. Plus, minus, plus, minus. Where the minus is, we say that the function is decreasing. Where the plus is, increasing. Where the minus decreases and increases again. If at the point minus 2, up to the point minus 2, the function decreases and then increases, then this is the minimum point. It means there is a minimum. At the point 0, the function increases and then decreases. There should be a maximum. But since at the point 0, the function itself is undefined, then we will not have either a maximum or a minimum there. We get a minimum again at the point 2, since the function both decreases and increases here. 
so our function is decreasing if x belongs to from minus infinity to minus 2, from 0 to 2, and increases if x belongs to from minus 2 to 0, and from 2 to plus infinity. Points plus minus 2 are the minimum points. This video lesson is over.